Thank you for joining me in this brief video showing you an overview of Metis. This is the Metis start page. As you can see, there are three main sections, four subsections, and a search area. Click here to start a new assessment as soon as the program has loaded. The continue section contains up to 10 recently updated or created assessments. You can open an assessment by clicking on the title or by clicking on the open button. You can also access the analysis and reports areas from this section as well. The inbox section has up to 25 of the most recently completed responses. You can click on the title for the person or the open button to access that person's detailed information. And you can also access the analysis and the report section from this section as well. The pending area shows you a list of the responses that have yet to be completed. The reminder section shows you a list of responses that are due to expire or have already expired. Recent views gives you a list of all of the areas in the system where you have recently accessed. And the favorites section is a list of all of the areas which you have selected to be part of your favorites list. The search area should be your most commonly used area of the system. It allows you to search across people, assessments and criteria all at once. This means you can search for a keyword associated to the assessment and open it up within seconds of accessing Metis. If you don't know what to search for or you just want to see a list of all of your assessments, then click on the assessments area. This will initially show you a list of the assessments associated to you in the system. You can view the title of the assessment, the description, all of the tests that are associated to the assessment, as well as the total number of respondents and the total number of responses that have been completed. Double clicking on one of the assessments will open it up into the assessment details view. The people list, like the assessment area, will show you a list of the people in the system. It will show you the person's name, the email address, the total number of assessments the person is associated to, as well as the total number of responses that this person has created. You can also see the star rating for the person at this point as well. Double clicking on a person will take you to the person details screen. The criteria area initially shows you a list of all of the criteria in the system. You can see the name of the criteria, the description, the tests that the criteria scales are associated to, and in some cases you will see a flag. This indicates that criteria feedback has been received. Double clicking on the criteria will take you to the criteria details page where you can see some more information about the scales that have been chosen. Before we continue, there's one important area of Metis that needs to be shown, and they are the basic settings. Click on Metis Administration and Settings, and the initial view you'll see will show you your language settings. Here you can set the default language for Metis. Choose any one of the options in the list, restart Metis, and it will appear in that language. The next important section is the norms. Default norms are used for reporting, and for analysis, and for when you're creating an assessment. If you wish to have a specific norm as a default, select it here. Now I'm going to show you the main detail sections. Clicking back onto the assessments, you can see that it's remembered the last assessment that I had open, which was the one I double clicked on earlier. If you wish to get back to the full assessment list, you just need to click the assessments area again. In the assessment details area, you can view all of the responses that have been added to the assessment and their status. Once a response has been completed by the test taker, its status will go from not started to complete. It includes the date and the time so you can see when the test taker had finished the test. Once a response has been completed, it can then be used for analysis or for reporting. This is the workflow area. It will show all of the tests added to the questionnaire, as well as any criteria that have been added to the assessment. You can reorder the tests so that the test taker will see them in a different order, and you can also use the criteria as a stop criteria, which means that the test taker will be unable to continue with the next test until they have successfully completed the previous one. Adding criteria to the assessment workflow means that it will automatically be added to all the future analysis, to the reports area, and it allows you to perform a criteria match directly from the assessment details page. You can also add new respondents and new tests to this assessment at any time. To perform an analysis, select completed responses and then click on the analysis button or onto the analysis tab area. The analysis view allows you to choose from multiple visualizations, including scores and criteria and criteria match. In order to get the most out of the scores and criteria and criteria match visualizers, you do need to add criteria to the assessment. To generate a report from the analysis view, Select some completed responses 
and then simply click on the reports area. The reports area is context aware. Depending on where you came from in the system, it will show some slightly different data. If you entered from an assessment area, it will show you a list of all of the people associated in the assessment and all of the test types and report types available. If you enter from the people area, it will only show you the people that you have selected. Select the options you would like for your report, the type of report, and then click on the button to generate your report. Thank you for watching.